What's up guys, welcome to this new video. Today I'm gonna create this design here and I'm gonna show you how to make it. I will teach you how to think and how to brainstorm ideas while I create this design here since it's a tutorial. So I'm just gonna go through how I'm doing this design here and at the same time I'm gonna give you some tips on how to create the best design and original design possible. Let's get started. So here we are, here we have it. This is the main image we're going to use i really like the color of it i think they already color graded i found it on unsplash.com so i think i'm gonna keep it like this the initial idea i had was to actually just put a threshold effect over it and create a black and white effect but uh, at the end of the day i really like this image here and the colors so i decided to go with it since i really like it for this challenge here in this channel i usually extract the random word before creating the graphic since i'm gonna extract a random word which will help me create the design in this case i'm gonna extract it later on so now i'm just creating a random graphic and then from there i'm gonna personalize it to create the actual let's say customized design with the word that we need to use so here I put the threshold effect as you can see it's nice but i really like i really prefer more the red version for many reasons the first one is that as i said before it's really color graded and i really like it and uh, as you can see now it's a bit difficult to see and uh, it doesn't look like a ski mask uh, with the threshold effect applied what i wanted to do for this gradient here was to put on one side red slash orange and on the other side black and white but the final result didn't work out so now i'm gonna add another camera raw filter over the edited image so i'm just messing around with exposure highlights and uh, all of that other stuff and uh, here you gotta just uh, select uh, the best color possible and uh, the best combination of colors possible to match the type of vibe you want to follow what i wanted to target with this camera raw filter was to add a little bit of light and of intensity of the actual mask in red here we found the word which is viable man i really like it because it has to do fortunately with uh, this uh, person here so with a ski mask and so it can be considered viable So how we can create a streetwear design? Well, what we can do is that we can just, if you want to grab an image as I'm doing now, is to just get the image and then uh, just separate the actual object that you want to get uh, with the background. In this case, I just selected the ski mask. I'm just thinking about it uh, now because I do not uh, like to put the whole squared image in the t-shirt since it's a little bit abstract and it doesn't match let's say it doesn't merge the actual t-shirt it, it looks like you put it just attached really quickly so i want to create a design which merges on the t-shirt so i'm gonna teach you how so the first step is to outline the main image you want to follow the main object it could be this ski mask here you can find the image on unsplash.com if you search ski mask or it can be whatever you want flowers angels whatever you want so now it's time to add the text so you gotta choose uh, two main words or even one or you can choose even your clothing brand name and just put in a way with uh, a font that complements the type of graphic and aesthetic you want to follow so here in this case here what they did is that they got this no thick font and i replaced the letter i think i i'm gonna replace it with uh, a bullet of a gun since it matches the aesthetic i want to follow moreover i'm gonna choose afterwards another font or maybe i'll like use the same font to add global mind studio so i think it can be really nice the second step uh, was to actually write and put some text with a really nice font you can find a lot of fonts on dafont.com even if uh, if you're getting started is okay but if you want to sell it you need to pay so i'm just giving you some info it's really 
really important to just have uh, all the copyright things uh, okay in your design so yeah and uh, afterwards that you actually designed uh, the main outline so with the text uh, and with the main character you can add all the other sub text sub uh, even sub graphics which just uh, complete uh, the graphic so since uh, i didn't know the actual viable word before i searched it on google i decided to we'll add that dictionary vibe if you know what i mean with the with the pronunciation greek letters in the one of the two corners which is missing some text just to complete the graphics so just to get again going with my creative process and creating a graphic so step one just get the main idea and outline the main image that you want to follow as the main concept step two add uh, the other things that will complement uh, in terms of uh, main uh, let's say title then uh, step three you just need to add all the other things that complement all of these things so maybe add some objects uh, in this case i decided to go with a newspaper scratch up design so i will need to follow and i'm following that kind of vibe putting some newspapers some flowers uh, some stamp arts uh, some uh, the bullet so yeah if you know what i mean i'm going with that kind of vibe if you're going with a more 3d vectory type of graphic you can put like shapes such as uh, globes or uh, stars uh, and even like shapes uh, that you can find online but even you can create with a shape tool afterwards i think uh, in the next couple of days i will create another video and i will show you how to create actually vector graphics uh, in photoshop with uh, like vector objects uh, just to complement your graphic and to create it more unique if you don't want to create it yourself i've done a previous video with uh, in collaboration with a guy which made pretty cool assets so go watch it because i will teach you even how to use them hold on before continuing i need to tell you two other things the first one is related with these other elements here that uh, basically can destroy or create an amazing design what i'm trying to say is that uh, if you add too many elements it will look really really messy so please before publishing the design you made just zoom out and reflect what you've made zoom out a bit and see if it looks nice without being too messy you did a great job otherwise you will need to delete other elements the second thing is that you need to keep proportions of the fonts and of the size of the fonts if you keep the proportions right the logo will be more professional take these two examples the top one is just messy the bottom one is perfect as you can see i added the dictionary vibe i was talking about earlier with the definition of viable since i didn't know it and i think a lot of people don't know it it's not that common to use so i just decided to add that dictionary vibe on the right top part just to complement a little bit even the newspaper vibe that i added when you finally added all the other parts the graphic could be completed but uh, what you want to do afterward is to create and add some text even why some text well some text that just complements or even adds context to the actual graph so if you just added some shapes and text just for aesthetical purpose now is your time to add some text to actually inform the customer about something because you don't want to create a graphic a random graphic with no meaning right why not uh, now adding some context uh, with some text here i'm just messing around with other objects but uh, what you will want to do is to actually write maybe in the bottom part i will do it afterwards maybe add in the bottom part some other text which just basically says what's the graphic about in this case i'm just gonna give you some examples in the case of my graphic here maybe i would write not the definition of viable since i already written it on the top part but i will add how it can merge my brand so if my brand is called global mind studios uh, global mind how you want to follow a global mindset uh, and so how you need to be viable to survive the world uh, to survive the new and uh, fast pacing world something like that i mean you can just create it just to give some more ideas and concepts and add a little bit more of a depth to the actual graphic 
continuing with what I'm actually doing here in this Photoshop file here and this design. Here I added other two elements. It's basically some tape, some text again, which describes my brand. Oh, also you could add, if you don't want to add something specific for this design, you can add also your tagline for your brand. I suggest to make the tagline before starting the graphics so that you can have it maybe in another Photoshop file or somewhere and then you can just copy and paste it in every design. And then here what I added are some cactus to just add some green color, some tape, some uh, other paper just to make it newspaper -y vibe, just add that vibe. And also my little logo, one of my free logos, just to make it more mine. Now that you made all the things, you want to add it on a mock-up just to display the final result. I cannot share this mock-up that I have right now, but uh, you can just uh, go online and search mock-ups. I already done a video, my, I think it was my second video where I show you how to actually print and actually put a design on a mock-up, even if you don't have it for free. By the way, you need to be a little bit cautious because some of them, they have copyrights, so please don't infringe the copyright. That's pretty much it for this video here. Here are the three criterions to grade this design here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow with a new video. Bye-bye.